that's an absolutely outstanding performance by our equine friend. Let's see what the judges have to say. I'm simply blown away. It's like you kicked me in the chest with those big, powerful horse legs of yours. I'll tell you what for, RC. That was one of the best goddamn dances I've ever seen. And I've coached three of the past six dance teams that I made to the semifinals of the Briskerville County Biannual Dance-Off. Now what about our third judge, who's joining us over the web? Ah, there uh, seems to be an issue with judge number three. Fuck. I don't want to touch it. Get an IT guy down here or something. <laughs> I think it's time to give our judges a little bit more of your backstory before they try to guess your identity. Two days after I was born, my ten-year-old brother shot and killed both of our parents, and then he threw me off the Hoover Dam in a tiny little baby hot air balloon. For the first 24 years of my life, I lived among the native scorpions. They accepted me as one of their own, even though I lacked a stinger. One day I was picked up by a tiny local fisherman, but in the way of the scorpion, I killed him and devoured his flesh. After that, I was on the run for another half decade. I knew not the principles of law that guided the officers who tried to track me down, but my scorpion instincts told me I had to run. Eventually I ran into a talent scout who said he wanted to see my feral scorpion man face on the big screen. So one bribe to the United States government for a pardon for my crimes later, and I was kicking it up with the best of them in Tinseltown. I've heard of a horse with no name, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> what, what does that mean? What does that mean? You know, it's the damnedest thing. Your story reminded me of something that Robert De Niro once told me when we were on set for Toothbrush Sodomy. He said, and I'll never forget this as long as I live, he looked me dead in the eyes and he said, 73,000 children are thrown over the Hoover Dam and become scorpion people each year. He said that to me. And well, I just think that really narrows your identity down, buster. If there was a reason I kept this guy around. Well, what can I say? As for me, what caught my eye about your story was your use of the letter H. According to my notes, you used it 38 times. Uh, 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 check again. I got, I got 37 here. Okay, okay, let's, let's call it 37. Taking that into account and factoring in the caliber of your dance moves has led me to the conclusion that you're left-handed. What about you, Judge Number Three? What the fuck? That thing's still here? Oh, come on, guys. Come on. I think it's time to listen to your unmodulated voice. Give our judges a word clue. Turpentine. I have no clue. Fuck. I am without clue. Gotta go with my instinct here. Everything from the word clue to the story is telling me that the man under that mask is Humphrey Bogart. Not afraid to say. Everyone knows I'm a huge bogeyhead. I can't lie. I've seen all his movies, and I even saw him do a one-man off-off Broadway play called I Am Humphrey Bogart and I Was Raised by Scorpions. That play was telling the truth. It's the final piece of the puzzle for me. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to disagree with you there. Oh yeah? The fuck you are. You see, his gyrations tell me that our masked performer is a bit more subtle than that. Everyone knows the Scorpion people are renowned for their salesmanship. It's my belief that the aforementioned talent scout picked up our friend here to sell products like tinsel or turpentine on the big screen, but in the trailers before the movies, not starring the movies themselves. Not bad, rookie. Not bad. I'm gonna need a final guess from you, Judge. I'm laying it all down on the line. That son of a bitch is Billy Mays. Wow, those are some strong guesses from our judges, and boy, do I not envy them. Let's see who it is.
Who the fuck is that? Who, who the fuck is that? I don't know. 